Hi, Lori here from Mountain Mud Pottery. Today I'm going to show you how to make plates using three different techniques. I've got some clay wedged up already, so I'm just going to go ahead and start. I'm going to show you how to make a plate using a slab. So this is one I've done and it has a foot ring which I'm also going to show you how to make and attach it. So this is just um, at the bone dry stage. You have to get bisque fired and then glaze fired. But that's what we're going to be making right now. Quite an easy method. I start with a slab. This slab I actually made with my slab roller but if you don't have one you can just use a rolling pin and I'm going to be using this is a plate form and it's from GR Pottery Forms. This looks like a corn cob holder but it's actually a foot ring maker so I'll show you how to use that as well. The first thing I'm going to do because I want the plate to have a little bit of a, an edge so I'm going to cut the slab out this size So I just put it on the clay, take my pin tool, and just cut it away. Then I'm going to be putting this on the wheel to do a little bit of touch up with it. So I'm going to put my form on the bat. And then all I do is center it as much as I can over the form. That looks about right. So now I'm just going to press it down. And take a sponge. Smooth it out. If it's not quite even, that's okay because I'm going to be evening it out a little bit on the wheel when I finish here. So now I'm just going to take this tool and make the foot ring. So all I do is hold it, hold the clay flat and just bring it around right to the end. And you'll just see this is big enough, it might not be. So I'm gonna be putting it just on the edge there and it's not quite big enough. So I'm just gonna cut another smaller piece. And then I will just overlap that one here. So before I put that on, I have to slip and score this to make it attach better. So I take this tool with a serrated edge and I just score it where the piece is going to go. And then I would score the bottom of the foot ring as well. Then I just take a brush and I take some slip, which is just like wet clay, which I have in my little slop bucket, which I then use to reclaim my clay. And for information on reclaiming clay, you can watch that on my YouTube channel. So I just put a bit of slip on there and that acts like glue. So then I just place this on top of that place that I scored. So because I didn't have a long enough piece, what I need to do is overlap this 
So I put it on top of the one that's existing. And then I take my pin tool and cut it. So they match up like a mitered edge. And then just smooth it in. And I'll be fixing this up on the wheel, so I'm not too worried about that at the moment. And same on this other side, I just cut it on a diagonal. And then I lift this piece up and take that extra bit out. So then again, they line up quite nicely. And then I'm going to smooth it in. So then if you don't have a wheel, you could just work this in with your fingers like this. And then use a sponge to smooth it. But because I have a wheel, I find it a bit easier. So I'm going to just take this over to my wheel and make sure that this foot ring is attached well. So my bats have holes in them and I just put screws in my wheel head and then just line it up. There, and then I just make sure it looks like it's on there evenly and straight. And then I just get a bit of water on my sponge and then I'm just going to apply a bit of pressure and a bit of water. inside of the foot ring and the outside. So I'm just going to be compressing the bottom a little bit more as well. Again, this is just to help eliminate any cracking. And I'm just going to keep applying a bit of pressure and a bit of water to this foot ring. It's a bit of an uneven lump there where I attach the two pieces, so I'm just going to take my rib and flatten that out a bit. Then the very edge here is a little bit uneven, so I'm just going to take my pin tool and then I just take the pin tool and run it along the edge take that off just so I know that it is nice and even. That's it for this plate. Again, very easy, quite simple. And because it's being measured, every plate will be the same consistency and the same size. So this, because it's sitting on a form, you, you can't leave it on here too long or as it shrinks, it could crack. So I let this set up for an hour or two till it's firmed up. Then I would take another bat, put it on top like that, and flip the whole thing over. Then I would take the, the insert out and let it just dry like that. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to let me know. I'll answer any questions the best I can. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.